What's going on guys, Also here, welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the new Flashback Player SBC card to review and it is going to be Richarlison. This is actually a flashback to his shapeshifter back in FIFA 20 and he is looking amazing. He has got 97 pace with 96 dribbling, 92 shooting, 88 passing with 90 physicals. He's a 5 foot 11 player with high medium work rates, 4 star skill moves and a 5 star weak foot. Now the chem style, Hawk. I feel like Hawk is definitely need a way to go because you want to try to boost up that long shot while also getting his sprint speed to 99 see so yeah, i feel like hawk fits perfectly on this card the pace maxed out you can't get better the shooting stats are incredible he has got 99 attacking positioning with 99 finishing 99 shot power 93 long shots 88 volleys with 96 penalties and keep in mind he has got a five star weak foot but unfortunately he has not got any shooting trait he's a passing ability I mean, it's looking pretty good. It's like looking like your average striker passing. Like 93 short passing, very good. 80 long passing, nothing special. The dribbling ability looks top tier. He's got 96 agility with 90 balance, 95 reactions, 95 ball control, 98 dribbling with 99 composure. I'm definitely expecting him to feel really solid on the ball. He's physicals, 99 jumping, 99 heading accuracy. He's a 5 foot 11 player, so he's not a small player, and he has got the power header trait as well. So hopefully, we can score a header today with him. He's got 93 stamina as well, with 92 strength and 99 aggression. The physicals on this card look incredible. Now, the links, I mean, Everton ain't even too bad. Like, you get a strong link with Deli Ali. You get a strong link with your boy Allen. So I guess the club isn't too bad for links in this game. And you guys already know the nationality is incredible. You can get a strong link with Fabinho. You can get a strong link with uh, Fernandinho. You get a strong link with Fred. You get a strong link with players like Lucas Moura, Martinelli. There's so many, so many good players that you can link them up with. Now positions. I will be playing with Charleston in one position and one position only and it will be that striker position today in a 4-4-2 formation so let's get into the games and let's see how good flashback Richarlison is gonna be can i get a driven pass into him there you go accelerate into the space nice acceleration let's go for that again as well i'm just gonna continue running down the line here just keep it going use your pace to get around the corner easily he kept on as well hold on a second hold on a second nice turn i'm looking for that pass towards the inside and there was not really like an open pass. I thought maybe someone was going to make a run into it. But Richarlison's pace down the line there looked incredible. I'm going to give that into Fred because I see he's open. Into Richarlison. He's waiting. Hold on a second. Accelerate into the space. Nice ball roll as well. I green timed it. It was such a hard angle though. I'm not expecting him to uh, score from that kind of angle. But that was a nice acceleration touch into the space once again from him. I see Insigne towards a near post. But I also see Blanc as well. But he's controlling Insigne. Hold on a second. Richarlison. Go on, win this header. In front of him. I mean, we green timed it. We did win the header. It's just it looks like it came off Blanc. Oh, I was trying to use his strength there just to hold off Blanc. Driven out up to Felipe Anderson or Richarlison. Doesn't really matter. Good scoop turn. Nice turn. Accelerate into the space. That's beautiful. Shoot towards a near post. He moves the keeper across goal as well. And we get an easy goal. I'm going to send Richarlison on a run. Let's see if we can go for a through ball here. There you go. Just using his pace to get in behind. I must admit, not the greatest of touches. And Blanc just easily catches up. I'm expecting like an acceleration touch there. Let's go for a burba spin there. Oh, that is uh, not how I wanted it to go. He's put Blanc onto the ground, and uh, we've got a goal. How? I don't know. <laughs> is that Gomez making a run? It is. Why not? Let's through ball him. He decided he wanted to make a run. Good pass into Richarlison, and we have ourselves another goal. What is that run from Gomez? And what a pass as well. And what a finish towards a near post. Get that ball for being a beautiful slide tackle. Richarlison, nice touch. Go for a few turns here. His ball control, I can tell, is very good. Like, he's taking every touch he needs to take in, like, tight situations, which is always nice to see. But I'm seeing some, like, turns with him come off a little bit slow, which is weird because you look at the dribbling stats and you're expecting him to turn, like, crazy, crazy quick. And can that go in? Really, it hits the post. He went for a sly tackle there. I'm going to give it into Richarlison here. Richarlison's movement right now in the striker position is not as aggressive as I thought it was going to be. Like, he does like to come short. And, yeah, he does a, a second man press there and ends up getting the ball. I thought maybe we could just back into 
Back into Gomez. Hold on a second, though. Nice scoop turn. That's a good tackle. We got plenty of space to run into. I see Richarlison trying to be aggressive. I'm going to manual switch into him. Nice driven. Let's go for it. Go on. No, I didn't even time that one. I wanted to just see how it was going to come off. Non-timed. And that is a good shot. It challenges the keeper. Hold on a second. We might have another opportunity. Smack it near post. We even greened it. He was under pressure. You can tell by the animation. It wasn't the greatest of animations. And it wasn't the greatest of shots either. Oh, that's wide open. Let's go for the driven pass there. Nice touch. Go on. That's beautiful. Shot across goal. I was working it so much because I saw that the my opponent pretty much put the player for the shot across goal. So he would have blocked it 100%. So I tried to, you know, work it around, doing the roulette and everything. And we eventually created the angle. And that's a very good finish again. I'm going to give that down into Richarlison. He's sitting on the edge of the box so often. Like, I'm really surprised with his movement in the striker position. As far as I remember, his, uh, his showdown was not like that. His showdown was a bit more aggressive. Trying to send a few players forward so we can hear him with a press. Maybe a 1-2. Oh, he got blocked off. Hold on a second. Hold up play. Nice. Look at that movement. You see how he realized that he couldn't get the ball up because the player was covering it. And then he made that run down. That is good movement. Very good movement. That's the movement I want to see in that striker position. My opponent is defending really well right now. Like, look at this. He's second man pressing at the perfect times as well. Is he going to bring out the keeper? He doesn't bring out the keeper. Okay, Richarlison. Come on. You got 99 jumping. You got a power header trait as well. No, I don't know who that is. That's Pedri. I feel like I feel like he should be winning that header against Pedri, but he was a little bit too far back to get onto it. But what a finish. He's finishing inside the box is insane. Keep that on, Foden, please. There you go. Richarlison, I'm going to manual switch into him. Just get in front of Chiellini there. Oh, that's, I must admit, not a grace of defending. Hold on a second. A quick one-two of the post. Can I get driven pass through the middle? I can. Let's drill that straight into Richarlison now. Go for a few fakes. Let's go for it. Green timed. Finesse shot. And look at that. You can clearly tell the Hawk Kemstall is helping out the long shots. Play that through ball into Richarlison. Go for a quick cut in. Green timed. Now nah, I wanted to see if we could do it back to back. That was probably going to be a very good shot because I greened it as well. Fred make a run there. Well played. Give it back to Fabinho into Richarlison. This is nice football. Accelerate into the space. Power shot towards the near post. No. It ends up hitting crossbar. Nice Felipe Anderson. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, that's disgusting. The flick over the player. And what a volley. Is he going to push? He is kind of. I'm going to go for through there. Can I smack this towards the near post? Oh, my. I yellow time it and it still hits the crossbar. You can clearly tell, though, his shooting ability inside the box is very good. The fact that you can shoot perfectly as well with both feet is always a nice thing to have in that striker position. I'm going to drive that into the middle. I see Richarlison again just coming short. Decent pass into Felipe Anderson. Oh, and drill with that. Richarlison, accelerate. Good turn. No, that should have been a foul. 100%. Good turn from Felipe Anderson, though. Hold on a second. We have ourselves an opportunity. Hold on. No, I wanted to see if I can maybe win the header as well. That's so unlucky. That was a nice play as well. I'm going to go for a ball roll scoop here. There you go. Richarlison kind of running away there, but I told him to come short. Nice ball roll scoop back into Richarlison. I like I'm going to go for that turn. Look at that. You see what I mean about his ball control? Like the touches he takes... At just like at just like pretty much going in a circle there is crazy honestly crazy it's just you definitely do notice like certain certain turns with him that do feel a little bit slow but in most cases the touches are really good and that should have been a penalty as well i'm going to try to give this back to fred give it across to richarlison be patient here use your strength there you go accelerate into the space referee sort him out you see how he was using the strength there that's something i'm gonna enjoy the fact that if i feel like i haven't really got a pass on i can just hold l trigger and he just backs into the player very nicely we got free kick uh 20 yards out he hasn't got amazing free kick accuracy 80 free kick accuracy and he also has got 99 shot power with 90 curve i see this guy's putting a player on the line so I think the best thing to do... Wait, hold on, though. Look how small the player... I'm going to go for it. I could go for just a fake shot here. But that play on the line is so small. Yellow timed. And, uh, yeah, it wasn't high enough. <laughs> I want to get that ball into Richarlison. There you go. Nice run from Felipe Anderson. Richarlison should realize where the open space is. Let's go for the chip. And it should be a goal. 
Good thing I followed it up. Good thing. There's no way we hit the post there. So it is time to get my final thoughts on the card. We ended up playing five games with Richarlison and we scored nine goals in those five games. His shooting ability inside the box was very nice to work with. He missed like two, maybe even three chances today, which I expected. I wasn't expecting him to finish every single shot we had inside that box. So yeah, the shooting ability inside the box, I was very happy with. The long shots as well, you can definitely tell the Hawk Hem style is helping out those long shots because the animation that he was getting himself into was a very very good animation i will say his long shots aren't as good as someone like Lionel messi salah son it's not that good but it is still top tier his pace insane the acceleration through those like gaps that i was doing was so nice like he was just bursting straight past players and when i told him to make a run and i went for that over top through ball yeah, there was not many players that was catching up to him. There was one chance, though, that he did take a weird touch, a touch that completely slowed him down, and Blanc ended up catching up to him. But I don't really feel like that's his, like that's his fault. Like, the pace was insane to get onto the ball. It's just EA made him take that touch and completely slow down the play and allowed Blanc to catch up. Questionable from EA, but the pace... I was very happy with it. The passing ability. I mean, I tried to keep it as simple as possible because I knew his long passing wasn't anything special. So I was going for those quick one twos and they were working out really well with him. The long passing. I mean, I did it once and it didn't work out as well as I would like it to work out. So try to keep it as simple as possible. But if the person is wide open on the other side, 100% give her a go. Uh, the dribbling ability, the ball control under, under pressure especially was insane. Like the ball would just stick to his feet. There definitely was though certain turns like certain 180 turns that didn't feel really smooth of him didn't feel as fast as i thought they were gonna feel let's say so those 180 turns just be a little bit careful with but other than that the dribbling is very solid the physicals i did try to score a header with him today but i didn't really uh go as planned let's say because he was losing like every single header the thing is right like, the majority of the defenders we play nowadays, they're tall. You know, like Varane, Ruben Diaz. You obviously got players like Chiellini as well. So, players like Richarlison will have a little chance of winning the header against those players because he has got 99 jumping. But in most cases, those players are going to out-header Richarlison. I feel like if he is quite open or if he is up against, let's say, a Roberto Carlos or someone like Alarm or even someone like N'Golo Kante, let's say, he, Richarlison will definitely win the header over those players and it will be a very good header because he has got the power header trait as well. His stamina obviously was enough to last for the whole 90 minutes. The strength was incredible to work with. You guys saw like near the end, there was a clip where I was just backing into, I think, I think he was Gomez, but I'm not 100%. But yeah, he was just backing into the player very nicely and just holding him off. And it just allowed me to take my time and decide what I wanted to go ahead and do next. Because in the situation that I was in, there was no, there was no like real passing option. So yeah, that strength definitely is good to work with. Now the price, 480k. 480,000 coins. EA have gone over top. I understand he's Brazilian. I understand, yes, he gets a hyperlink with a player like Allen. Yes, he gets a strong link with a player like uh, player like Deli Ali. And he also gets strong links with like Fabinho, Martinelli, Lucas Moura. There's a lot of good players that you can link him up with. Let's just put it that way. It's just 480k is over the top. 100%. I do feel like he is overpriced. Now, I feel like the best comparison we the best comparisons we can do is players like Jota and players is like Son. For me personally, he is better than Jota, but he is not better than Son. The reason I say that is because Son's finesse shots are an absolute joke. I honestly feel like Son has one of the best finesse shots in the entire game. It's just so, so incredible how you can just bang a finesse shot at a stupid angle and the ball just flies into the back of the net. And the pace with the Hunter Chem style applied on Son is the exact same as Richarlison's as well. So for me, team of the season Son is better than this card. And team of the season Son is going for 330k. And as I said, this card is going for 480k. I don't believe he's better than Son, but I do believe he is better than Jota. Where does flashback... Uh, Richarlison go in the attacker's tier list, A+. I don't think this card is an S tier level, but I definitely will say he deserves to go into the A+. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.